Welcome along to the Condor Sevens Tournament 2013. We're at uh, Les George Oval. It's a gorgeous day, and it's match one, round one, between Central Southland College playing from right to left and James Hargist in the black and red strip. Seven minutes each way as per normal for Sevens football, uh, apart from the final, and this is a good touch here for Sam Hyde in 12, and he got the ball away to Finley, but he offloaded quickly too, so good support play initially from the Hargist players. Back with Hyde, and he runs it forward, is confronted in a strong tackle and put on the ground, uh, but it's still Hargist to probing and looking after possession, which will be the key message from the coaches here. On the ground for Hargis was Mark Thorne Alexander. But a little knock on there means Central Southland College have thwarted the first attack. And we're expecting some fast running rugby from some talented young players here from the college scene in Southland. Ball put in quickly by Stewart and they sizing up their options uh, Central Southland and the pass was not the best. It's parried back into the field of play by Curtis Smith. But it did go forward in the process. Liam O'Connor in the hooking role, and he's not required. The ball just rolls in and out, and the captain skips away. Ben Maxwell could come up with the first points. He's very elusive, hard to pull down. They don't. So Hargis indeed come up with the first five points, and that's a classy try from the halfback down the blind side. So as per the sevens rules, the team that scored the try kicks it back to the team that didn't and gives them some possession, and it's taken well off the kick. And that's a good tidy piece of play by Chase Wilson. He's the vice captain for Central Southland and they keep it in the backs again. And just another sloppy pass. It's costing Central Southland at the moment. Leighton Van Rugen able to tidy it up, but he was outnumbered at the breakdown. And this means an opportunity for Hargist. And they get this away from Joel Finley. He has a little dart himself. He's confronted and put on the deck quite quickly, but they've got a couple of numbers in support, and that's key. And the runner again is Maxwell, the captain. He's looking very, very strong with ball in hand. He's not a big guy. They get close to the post, they get over it, and that's another try to Hargist. And it'll be a quick conversion from the same man that scored the try. So two tries to Maxwell and one conversion. That makes it 12-0. So Maxwell got all the jobs today. Scoring the tries, kicking the conversions, and taking the kickoffs. You're the captain, you can do what you please. Little fumble on the ground, it was a good idea keeping that like kick Liam. shallow. Central. And he'll get his backs some better ball this time. Kinley, he offloaded as well, so they've got it out wide very, very quickly, and they're going to back their pace men to get round the outside. Not able to do so on that occasion. It was uh, Smith, but uh, it's back with Stewart, and he gets the ball across the field and this is a promising run from Chase Wilson he's strong on the ball carry but uh, yes it was stolen from him and a great cover tackle there well done you have to say from Leighton Van Rugen who thwarted the latest attack tap tick taken for the penalty it's Hyde who flicks it through the backs good touch from Finley there's players on the outside but that's another fine tackle there's been some good defence on occasion, Pat Sloan this time from Central South and some good spot tackles, but they just haven't been able to mount a continuous attack. It looks like Chase Wilson three is the one of the danger runners they need to get the ball to. Uh, but he's a busy boy because he's in the front row as well. Now they've got a hole in the defence of Hargis and the first time Hargis have been tested. Pass was a good one. It's a nice run from Pat Sloan and he's back on the double round to pick it up again. Sets the ball. Looked after too well. So a chance for Central Southland if they can keep the composure, but they're getting hustled. And uh, the ball on the ground, it'll be a fair contest and it'll be taken away in the end by Black, but Black again on the receiving end of that pass. He couldn't pick it up clean, he does so now. Across to Liam O'Connor and he stands his ground and goes back the other way. Joel Finley, the player on his shoulder, but he's not allowed any free reign. And you'd have to be impressed by the work on the ground by Matt Stewart to try and turn the ball over, not able to do so. Hargist again, looking after the ball well in that contact area. Using their big guys, Wai Wai, and then it just lost at the last pass, last transition, let them down. So the line out with a throw to Central. And what's going to be a very hot day here. 
Leighton Van Rutten, uh, Rutten pulled the ball in for the line out but um, it wasn't straight the scrum won't take place it'll be half time second half here in our first match of the Condor 7th for 2013 at the half time break Hargis led by 12 points to nil there receiving the ball at this occasion and Dow brought to the deck very quickly as uh, Hargis continue where they left off with good ball maintenance Looking for space out wide where they've got speed. Cover tackling up to the mark at the moment. Okay, they've had a wealth of possession, they've used it well. They're looking for gaps and finding them at regular intervals. And here is a beautiful break by Sam Hyde. He looks to have the gas. No, he did not. He's had to offload to Dow, and he's under pressure, but should get there. It's a good chase from the Central Southland College defenders, but not able to deny the try to Hargist and they're off to a flyer in the second half. So throughout the day of course uh, I think those top prospects will emerge individual talents that uh, look to be perhaps a long term sevens prospect there's such a future in the game at the moment but they've taken it well at Central South and there's a real chance they could bring up their first points but there's just nowhere and not enough support for Owen guys he made a good break but just no one on his shoulder that's the difference between the two teams at the moment that Hargest have the support player with the ball carrier and Central Southland have not often enough so they'll have a go through Pat Sloan and see if he can find some a break but he uses Chase Wilson and Chase Wilson is one of the more penetrative runners for the visiting side and uh, all these teams have come here with good squads they're going to need them today it's, uh, it's warm indeed and the break by Matthew Braham, the captain, is uh, denied to have a quick tap and carry on. Here he is again, Chase Wilson. He looks towards the goal line and finds it. And that could be the first try for Central Southland College. He's going to confer, but no, the ball has not been grounded. Good defence there. Right in front of the posts now. Central Southland will not get a better chance. The tackle from Mark Thorne Alexander is strong. Is it enough to dislodge the ball in his team's favour? No, it's not. It's illegal, so it's a penalty. A tap is taken. The long pass goes across to Brady Hughes. Can he get through that last defender? No, he cannot. And the ball, yes, well, that's good reward for Hargist because Finley made the tackle and then he recovered the ball. Lovely steppers in midfield, Hargist. And very impressed with this uh, Ben Maxwell. The captain made some 40 metres on his own. And despite some very strong tackling coming from Central Southland, you have to credit Hargis with good ball retention skills. They're really protecting it well and not throwing any silly passes. Just a flick through and turned over. And here's the first chance for perhaps Brain to have a run and clear space, but it quickly closed. Penalty advantage still with Central Southland and Wilson's away. Strong enough to hold the player and ball up at the same time and Braham not far away. The captain and vice captain working together. And Finley on the ground. A little bit messier, but this time they start again and the pass, a uh, flat one across from Dow and it drifts away from the support. And a foot and touch. So the throw in, a short one. Wilson at the front, able to hold it up as always. Ball fired out the back. It was a bit of a loopy pass, and it meant the defender got up and able to make the tackle. And then the turnover comes, and just so strong in the tackle area. That's a better draw and pass, but not a great catch. Ball's kicked away, and it'll be a scrum. Another chance for Central Southland to. Probe that Hargis defence, but the scrum under pressure. And as a consequence, Hargis have grabbed a bit of bonus ball. And it's uh, killing it. It's uh, cost them. Wilson away on the run. But Hargis defence yet to be broken down fully. Todd Kewen on the ground. Trying to keep it for Central Southam, but just getting numbers to that breakdown. Here's the run from Finlay. He likes uh, to be on either wing. As the breeze gets up here a little, as you can see on the flag on the far side with the 
Line out is favouring Central Southland at the moment. It'll be interesting to see how they use that breeze. There's no sign of any tactical kicking at the moment. The instructions obviously clear from the coaches to keep it in hand when you do have it. In common practice, so course and sevens. Ball is just so precious. Unless you're sure of being able to chase down a kick, you keep it. That's what we're seeing from Central Southland. And that's a nice pick up again from Wilson. He seems to be everywhere when he's needed for help and Brame never far away either. Just holding on to that position. And in the tackle, placing it beautifully. And that's better support play. This time, able to keep it alive. Now we see a kick, we see a chase, and we possibly see a try, we do. And that's Pat Sloan coming up with the points. And clever play from Central South and saw no one sweeping at the back. And that will bring the first game to a conclusion, a successful one for James Hargis. They run out the victors over Central Southland College by 17 points to five.